Who needs Sochi when you have Cedar Rapids? It was like uh, the Olympic ski jump, only it was Olympic pothole jump. Based on what we've heard from you, getting around the city has been an Olympian task. I hit a really good one this morning on the way to Garfield Elementary, and I thought I was going to lose my front axle. On Facebook, many of you have sounded off about some of the major trouble spots, like 42nd Street, so we gave it a shot. As you can see from kind of the rocking of the camera, this is no special effect. This is pretty bad. Now, uh, some body shops that we spoke to say it's so bad out there on the roads. They've seen double the amount of customers this winter, people coming in for tire and front end damage. Cedar Rapids road crews are providing the remedy by the truckload. Uh, just got here, so probably about a ton, about two tons. But with the winter we're having, it's been no easy task. The days of freezing, then melting, aren't helping. If you go up to Minnesota, far north, once it turns cold, it stays cold. Here, you get those cycles, and every time you get a cycle, that causes damage. They are attempting to prevent the issues by using a higher quality patch than normal. A stickier than a regular cold mix. The high quality mix costs the city more, but it's worth the payoff, says Hansen. That stuff will last three to five years. But there's no timetable on all these repairs. They're on Mother Nature's watch. It's left corridor residents patiently anxious. I'm sure they're doing as much as they can. Just wish it was sooner.